Hey guys, what's going on? Steve, I'm back again. So here we are, the first episode post Rick Grimes. So let's take a look at episode six called Who Are You Now? Let's check it out. Even years go by. Daryl the Fisherman. While you try to make sense of it all. Oh, look at that walker. <laughs> That was a pretty cool looking walker. Even now, after all this time, Four leaf clover. Surrounded by darkness, there are still flashes of light. Tiny Looks like figures Dwight used to make. Out. Calling to us. I haven't given up. And I never will. She still talks to Rick, and the bridge was never rebuilt. Stepping up. <laughs> Damn. There's more on the way. Wow. We gotta get out of here. Eugene loses the mullet, and somehow... They need food and water I guess and the medicine. mullet was holding him back. Our loyalty to you, my queen. Jerry. Married oh, to Jerry. the king, mother to the prince. You have to accept it at some point. The queen overlooks her kingdom. After all these years, it's probably not gonna happen. Oh, no. Culpa was a fossilized city of shit. You'll be safe here. I promise. She's like Clementine. Sweet and innocent. She's gonna be the show's version of Clementine. This is home. There's the windmill. And why are they here? My call. It's not your call to make. I decided. I needed help. Judas. She's gonna get away with so much shit. You know the rules. She survived being deaf. I was in high school. Stressing about stupid shit that felt like the end of the world. And who are you now? A fighter. She says she's my guardian angel, but really it's the other way around. What is it? You want to tell him? Sean, if you have something to say, so. it's a prison tattoo. The four dots are the walls. The one in the middle is you. I second the motion. Hey! Can I ask you a question? No. You just did. You stay here. Help with the new people any way you can. Me and Eugene are worrying about the relay box. You sure? Oh, damn. Go Father G. Poor Eugene, though. Have I told you lately how amazing you are? Yes. But if you want to keep saying it, I won't stop you. Get off her! My hero. Uh oh. Drop it. Drop it. Don't piss off Carol. Now, 
See, I was never too good at math, but I'm pretty sure there's more of us than you. Uh oh, calm down, kid. Calm down. Henry, go! He's got some moves. Morgan would be proud. Take it. Take it. I Take mean, it. It's yours. Being outnumbered doesn't help, but good moves. Well, no, I didn't know, but let me guess. You being you, you want to help them. I found them. I brought them here. Let me tell you something. She is so When innocent. I was about your age, I used to bring She's home stray to dogs. Over My mom, everyone. she hated it. And look how great everything turned out for you. Wait a minute, where are you going? I thought Ooh. you wanted my help. I do, but just with math. Why just math? Because it doesn't matter if you're a good or bad person on the inside. The numbers don't care. <laughs> Damn. Sweet uh -oh. sassy molassy. Roll! Herd! Get your ass down, now! I just say hide up there. Shit. Ah, my knee. Can you put weight on it? That's a seriously painful negative. Bird must have flipped a hardcore U on the DL. Use this as a crutch. We gotta go. I don't get it. We didn't even try. There's no point. They had the numbers. That's bullshit. Henry. No, there's right and there's wrong. Gotta learn to pick you your fight. You stand for what's right, you fight what's wrong. You taught me that. If you're outnumbered like six to one, not good odds. And I remember when you did. What happened? You. Oh, People who went shit. out and never came back. We you pissed off Carol. Do anything. You hurt my son. I swear you'll never see us again. I know. Well, that takes care of that. You missed one. Judith Grimes. You said Dad would have wanted me to have it. To protect myself and the people I love. Yeah, he would have, but I'm the one who's supposed to be protecting you. Is that why you're kicking them out? The gun is almost as big as her. I think would have wanted me to do what I did yesterday, too. How can you say no to her? He would have been proud. Your brother, too. Then why won't you help them? I'm hungry now. <laughs> The son of Rick Grimes. The Grimes family continues. Where are you taking us? It seems like we've gone clear off the map. You keep your eyes on the road, mister. I know where I'm going. No, oh, but... Whoa! Whoa! He looks like a traveling merchant. You need a ride, stranger? She was going to come check on Daryl. Doc.
Change of plans. There's a place a lot like this one. The leader might take you in. I'll escort you personally. Talk to her. Someone had a change of heart. Don't talk. With you. You gotta keep an eye on your patient until we get there. Alright, so there we go, episode 6. That was awesome. So, we got a time jump here, you know, about 6, 7 years or so, uh, post Rick Grimes. I gotta say it was really cool, you know, we got Magnus Group and stuff like that, which is awesome. Can't wait to see more of Magnus Group. Uh, what else? You know, Michonne seems to have hardened up quite a bit, you know, they got some sort of counsel now. Uh, they're not too fond of taking in new people, which is interesting. You know, I'm really curious to see what happened in that time jump. You know, what what changed, what made them come up with uh, a council system and stuff like that. So, I'm very curious. I think they said they're going to explore that, I think, in the movies, in the Rick movies, I think. I'm not sure. But I know we're going to find out uh, what happened, you know, to Rick in that time in that time period you know it's been like six seven years why hasn't he made his way back so i think we're going to learn about that but i'm very curious to find out what happened with them you know during that time period uh what else we got rosita and father g that is interesting uh very different from the comic you know in the comic it was father g i mean yeah um rosita and eugene so I wonder why they changed it. So that'll be interesting. Uh, looks like they might have set up a comic book death. Won't get into spoilers, but if you know the comic, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, and then of course the big moment at the end. Well, of course we still get Carol being a complete badass. You know, the mother of walkers <laughs> the mother of walkers there you know setting um setting those saviors on fire not the first time she's done that but damn and then of course at the end they're here the whispers have arrived where are they and then don't let them get away that was creepy especially that kind of above shot you know, with all them with their heads down and they got like the black hair. That was creepy. Kind of like a ring convention or something like that. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see more of them. Looks awesome. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Help me reach my goal of five, um, 1,200 subscribers. Uh, follow me on social media. Links are in the uh, description box below. And of course, leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think about the episode? What do you think about Magnus Group? What do you think about Rosita and Father G instead of Rosita and Eugene? Uh, what do you think about, you know, Carol kind of being passive, but then becoming a badass again? Let me know. Anyway, stick around. More videos are on the way, and I'll see you guys next time.